don't know me, you soon come to realize that I do not have any sense. Set to debut the same night as President Obama's farewell address to the nation on January 10th, FX's eight-part Taboo starring Tom Hardy is very dark, very dense, and truly novel. And I mean that quite literally. The Stephen Knight co-created and Ridley Scott executive produced project is also something very much worth watching, though you will have to pay very close attention to see where things are headed in this visceral, brutish, and bloody tale, which is very much like life as it was in the early 19th century in London. I have sworn to do very foolish things. Which is interesting because this is set in the seething streets and slippery back alleys of London of 1814 amidst geopolitical shifts, war in the Americas, and the still powerful and often toxic corporate tentacles of the British East India Company, an entity that even today makes today's ExxonMobil look like a stall at the farmer's market. Taboo sees the long presumed dead James Delaney, played by co-creator Hardy, return for his now dead father's struggling shipping business and a piece of land off the coast of what is now Vancouver that holds strategic and emotional importance for him and the barons of profit led by the great Jonathan Price, fresh off his spell on Game of Thrones, that he is determined to go to war with. You do realize this whole business is about revenge. Thick with plot, it is to say more to reveal too much about Taboo except to say there are family secrets to be spilled along with blood and mysteries within mysteries to be unraveled. Or, put it another way, you're a long way from Jane Austen, baby. Now, some may think that the show moves slow, but in fact, I found it very true to its time with the pacing of what would be the 19th century novel equivalent of a thriller. Plus the trio of episodes I saw, the history and the plotting certainly come in heaving waves that require fast reactions and sure footing. Unlike, say, the hollow Emerald City, Wizard of Oz reimagining that debuts tonight on NBC. As any fan of Knight's excellent Peaky Blinders, in which Hardy also appears, knows the director of Lope, which Hardy also appeared in, likes to hatch his eggs in his own good time, and is often more like a novelist and less like a screenwriter in his construction and narrative. A fine screenwriter at that, but a storyteller definitely of a different pace. You look the same. I'm not. I have sworn that I will do very, very foolish things. My thanks. All of which, even in this era of peak TV, might feel off kilter, but is a long haul worthy of rewards of a type comparable to the bounty the East India Company would bring into its portents in its heyday. Long story short, Taboo is the Tom Hardy show. He's in virtually every shot, and his character pulsates throughout the series. But to quote the show itself, like Raven's fighting, this is more persistent bastard, to give a wink to FX's last historical drama, than Peaky Blinders, and with a fine mix in that result. Also, with the scent of mm, what feels like some Edgar Allan Poe in the ethos, a journey of cursed men hidden in maybe forgotten history, and a new way of seeing the old world. I am a very dangerous man to know. 